Hello there, my Aries Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Aries? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Aries. What's going on, Aries? Let's finish the smoke. 33 on the clock. 3-3. Three, three. Mm, master number. Okay. Aries, what's up? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Aries collective. Aries, look at that. Some of y'all need to downsize, okay? You need to downsize. Some y'all just consolidate those ten ones. You know what? Go buy your fucking bag of dollar store uh, zip ties and zip tie all them fucking uh, uh, ten wands together and put it down into one. Be a hell of a lot easier to carry than that shit. You need to uh, lighten your load. You need to work smarter instead of harder. You need to do something here. Okay, so trust your gut, your guidance, your intuition. Some of y'all, this could even be you using up some scraps that you just got laying around to turn it into something new. Some of y'all, a new uh, possibility, a new opportunity. Uh, yeah, I'm all time telling you, you have everything you need right around you if you really want to do it and you want to create it. Sometimes it's just being creative, right? Saving some money. Because maybe you got something else you'd like to give to, but you want to cut back on something. This feels like reduce, reuse, recycle. Y'all, uh, Aries, I'm going to tell you, I was working on a project or thinking about a project that I wanted to do, and I was all set on spending the money, which probably would have been about uh, a little over a hundred bucks, but I had everything I needed in my basement. Don't be, don't be caught up in a burden. You need to simplify. Some of y'all, let's just simplify. Consolidate what you can. Get out of this binding. For some of you, it's zip ties. Uh, combine all that shit together and put it into one so it's easier to carry. You're, you're carrying some burdens you don't need to. You're worried about something that I don't feel you need to. You could fix the situation. You're not handling it correctly right now. There's something you're not seeing. You're too either stuck in your way where you don't want to see how to solve it or you just don't want to let it the fuck go. So either way... Uh, it's like you know how to handle it, but you're unnecessarily carrying the burden. Fucking zip ties, y'all. Zip ties are fucking duct tape that shit if you got it. You can consolidate it to make it easier for you to carry because ain't no one wants a hunchback, right? You gotta carry them, uh, ten of wands, carry them burdens, whatever the hell you got to carry, you gotta carry them with your shoulder up, okay? <sighs> Heartbreak in love. Okay, so... Well, it's going to be a love reading Aries. Hey, you know what? If they broke your heart, you got to let it go. Okay? If it don't come easy, you better let it go. Because if it don't come easy, there's no natural flow. And I sing 333 on the clock. You know, sometimes you just got to let that shit go. Give that love to yourself, okay? Because it looks like you're sitting here pretty fucking good. But someone just turned their back to you. They went the other way with that offer. Oh, well, they're lost. Look at your ass. You, How long do you think it's going to take for someone else to gonna come along? There's a better version of whoever the fuck you're waiting on out there, y'all. Don't waste time and energy. Don't waste them tears uh, crying over someone that got the fuck away. Because remember... God knows better on that. I know you might be all heartbroken and forsaken, but you need to quit that because that's just blinding you to opportunities that's around you, right? You're carrying that burden and some of you could be looking like a hot mess. You need to just, uh, you know, fake it till you make it. Some of y'all consolidate those wands. Take down what you can. You got to get out there and, and present yourself. Put yourself out there like you know what the fuck you're doing. Right? Zip tie them fucking ten of wands together to turn it into one wand. If you ain't got zip ties, but everyone's got duct tape. Duct tape that shit together. Right? A lot of y'all pick up whatever the hell you have around to use to help move forward. There is, I feel like I got a bitch. 
It's not even bitching. This is just like you, you're, you're not, you're, uh, it's almost like you're a little sloppy right now. Why are you being sloppy when you could go through and clean up? Because it's like, you know, computer wires or, or wires around that you could zip tie and make them look nice and neat. There's no reason for it to be a hot mess, Aries, other than you're just not taking like a minute to go through and just clean some shit up that would make it look better and easier. Yeah, you got to clean some shit up. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Scorpio. Okay, we know Scorpios can Scorpios can be a challenge. You need to end it, though. It's like this situation, whether it's completely over or not, some of y'all, it just it, you need to put it to rest. If the offer didn't happen, there's a reason for it. Uh, you got to trust divine timing, y'all. Some of y'all going to find out you luck out. The one you miss out on is actually to your benefit because they're really not that great anyway, right? Hindsight is twenty twenty. Some of y'all are realizing that or you soon will. As you take that information and knowledge and you move on, you're like, oh shit, I did dodge, dodge a bullet on that one. Thank you, Jesus. King of Pentacles energy. Ace of Cups. Yeah, for some of y'all, the, there's a better version out there, but first you've got to get over the, 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 the work... <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, this is it. There could be a better, mature, more appropriate, more stable option, but some of y'all keep going to this page and ain't got shit to offer, right? Some of y'all are holding on to a page energy instead of looking for this king energy. Someone that can bring you stability. Someone that knows what the fuck they want. Instead of just this page of energy. This page of pentacles. This, this is like an energy thing. Uh, you got, Protect your energy. Uh... <sighs> It's like you need to just 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 clean up, you know, thinking of energy when you think of wires, how they're kind of twisted together, right? A bunch of smaller wires to carry the current. You need to consolidate whatever the fuck you got going on, whatever burden burdens, burdens, what the fuck burdens you're carrying, right? Instead of having them all loosey goosey all over the place, combine them. Combine them together. Wrap that shit. I don't care. Zip tie it. Duct tape it. Whatever the fuck you got to do. That way you can throw it over your shoulder and it's much more manageable. You need to present yourself better. It, it's almost like you're just a little sloppy. Uh, now, uh, Aquarius or Aries, if this isn't you. so uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius. Some of y'all could be an earth sign. Uh, Aries. I don't know if you're the sloppy one now or someone you're dealing with is the sloppy one. But it just seems like it's not even going to be that hard at work. Just, it's like, just straighten it up. Just straighten it up. I'm getting like a zip tie energy. You know, if you've ever done or worked anything with wires or you ran wiring, maybe with your uh, computers or TVs, right? A few little zip ties to kind of put everything nice and neat. Some of you can buy them little cord covers that you can mount to the wall to kind of cover it so it's not a hot mess. Most of those you can paint over so it matches. It's like you got something around that's just an eyesore that you could fix pretty easily, pretty cheaply with just some zip ties to just straighten it up. Straighten it up and organize. You're you're just it, it's it's like you're carrying it sloppy. Uh, it's something so simple that could be done, and you're gonna it's you're automatically just gonna feel better. It's gonna look better. You're gonna it's gonna be a, a, a better presentation. Maybe for some of you around your house, you could be cleaning up around your house. Whatever situation, hindsight's twenty twenty. Take the knowledge that you know and run with it. Some of y'all really do. You need to let something or someone go. We got a King of Cups energy here. Yeah, this conflict. You know, you got to get over it. If they really loved you, they'd be with you. If they really wanted you, they'd be with you. Come hell or high water. If you would leave in that happily ever after bullshit. A lot of you, there is a better version. But you're holding up by holding on to, to someone that walked away from you and probably just created havoc in your life. You need to temper that shit. Some of y'all, get your shit together. Uh, Aries, it's not a bitchin' energy, but, I mean, what the fuck? You know what? I don't care what tell anyone says. If someone wants to be with you, they would be with you. If they're not willing to put forth the time and effort, then they don't care that much. And I don't want to hear it. There's no, there's no excuses. True love will move, uh, mountains. 
Seven of Pentacles. Someone that just dicked around and wasted your time. Some of y'all put a lot of fucking time and energy into this. We got the Empress energy. I don't think you're the Empress here with the Ace of Wands. But some of y'all need to be. Because you know what? I feel like that Ten of Wands burdens, whoever the fuck you were carrying. Yeah. That was that sort of sloppy energy. Right? I'm picturing wires there. Right? You combine them wires together. Put a fucking zip tie on it. Make it look neater and prettier. For Jesus Christ, if you are the empress here, you don't want to walk around looking like a hot mess? Hell no. You're going to create your own little wand there. Your own little staff. Whatever the hell uh, this empress likes to carry with her. You're going to make it look nice and neat and presentable. And for a lot of you, there's another better option out there. That isn't going to be so sloppy. That isn't going to cause conflict. Hindsight's twenty twenty, but some of y'all got to get yourself grounded first. You got to see the truth in the situation. Some of y'all got to trim some shit up. We got three, three here. Three of cups, the three of pentacles. The truth of a situation. For some of you all, some people just can't commit. Okay? So you got to allow that, Aries. I want to say this almost feels like don't be holding on to 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 what someone says thinking it's a fake happiness. You know, if you you uh, uh, some of the issues with tarot readings, you you have to understand when the reading is yours or not, right? If you're getting this over rosy, you know, happily ever after energy, and you ain't talked to someone in uh, a year or six months, it probably isn't going to happen overnight. You know what I mean? Uh, don't get stuck in an energy just waiting for someone to show up. Don't let somebody else put words into somebody else's mouth. For some of y'all, the, the truth of the situation is it ain't that person. You know, a reading can encompass somebody that you haven't met yet. Readings, uh, now some of y'all could be going and getting readings and you're just like, you're feeling conflicted because, you know, people say love's coming and, and all this and you're kind of stuck thinking, well, where the hell is it at? It's coming for a lot of you, but you got to focus on you. You got to focus on your money, right? Aries, you're showing up as the empress. I think you're stuck. Um, but I think you're stuck because you're ready for that happily ever after. Some of y'all, you know, when you're manifesting, you can't manifest a particular person back into your life. Manifesting doesn't work that way. Everyone's got free will. Okay, you can't go to somebody and say, bring them back. Nah, it don't work that way. Because even if they were to come back, most of y'all, that shit hasn't changed. Your situation isn't going to change. Uh, it's going to be the same energy that you dealt with this person to begin with. That's why you just keep your heart open for love. You keep your heart open for the opportunity. I feel, This feels like someone's just holding on, not realizing that God's going to bring in someone better. Spirit has someone better out there. Because there's always a better version of whoever the fuck you left behind. Hindsight's twenty twenty. This doesn't mean don't give up on love. Some of y'all, you're just thinking about the wrong person. <laughs> you're thinking about the wrong person, Aries. Aw. But it's easy to, you know, you got to take tarot readings with a grain of salt. Uh, they're generals. So, you know, it could go either way. For some of you, you, you are calling in somebody. But if you're still holding on to someone from the past, that's going to hold up any new. Right? If you want to come into partnership with somebody, you can't bring any of the vestiges of the old with you. You got to have your heart chakra open. You got to have any of those attachments kind of severed to anyone from the past. Some of you, your belief in love. If you're still harboring sadness and resentment, you can meet the right person, but turn away from it or fuck it up because you're still holding on to somebody from the past that ain't in the picture anymore. It, it, uh, Aries, I'm so sorry. Sorry. 
But it's 22 here. 22, 33. A lot of y'all are seeing the numbers. A lot of y'all are getting the information. Uh, stay positive. Stay positive. But don't look at every reading. So we got three twos here with the high priestess as well. So two, 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 three, three, threes. Uh, Aries, I want you to just be happy. Be content. Uh, you know, trust that just because love's coming in doesn't mean it's someone that you know. It's not always a past person. It's not always the one that you're thinking. Because remember, you can't manifest a particular person back into your life. Because everyone's got free will, okay? You got to let something go. You know what? If it's meant to be, it's going to come back. If it's if written in the stars, it's going to come back. Okay? But it's going to come back in the right way, in the proper way. But some of y'all, there's whole better opportunities out there. Right now, you need to be focusing on your home, focusing on your money, focusing on you. For fuck's sake, you're the empress. You're the empress here. Where's she at? Where's she at? There she is. I see her. Focus on you. Focus on your world. Focus on what you've got going on. I have with this Knight of Swords energy. Watch your communications. Uh, don't get caught up in energies that make you feel this way, okay? Uh, don't get don't get suckered down that rabbit hole thinking about the past. Don't get suckered down that rabbit hole dreaming of a happily ever after that you probably know already won't exist. A lot of you, there's a better version. There's a better energy. There's a better uh, everything coming in. Focus on you. Love shows up when you least expect it, okay? So just keep that in mind, Aries. Aries, that's that's kind of a sad reading, but not really. You know the reality of your situation. You need to go through and start cleaning up some shit. You got some loose ends. You're looking a little tattered. Maybe some of y'all watch your clothes. Maybe you got some fuzzies on your sweater or some fucking uh, loose threads. It's like you need to go through and, and just kind of clean up a little bit. You need to straighten and organize, consolidate what you can. Uh, present. Really present a little better. How the hell you're carrying them burdens? You you might be looking a little sloppy, okay? And I say that out of love. It's like, you know, uh, shaving a haircut. Ten cents. So, uh, do what you got to do there, Aries. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring. And I've seen 1733 and 1744 on the clock. I love that, Aries. Just breathe. Uh, go through and just start straightening up some shit. Maybe that, if those of you that, maybe that's visually what's like keeping you, uh, it's like your vision isn't quite clear. You know what I mean? Hindsight's 2020, but you haven't quite hit that point where you can look back and see it. So just start straightening up and focusing on what's around you. Real heavy on like a uh, zip tying or or uh, wrapping something just to consolidate, make it look pretty, right? It's like uh, it could look great, but if you took care of that little issue, uh, it'd look even better. So clean up, clean up, Aries. <laughs>